Hello everybody, Crusher Kellen here, and today I'm playing Ark Survive Evolved, and in this episode I am going to be showing you guys how to get polymer on aberration. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I have two methods pre prepared for you guys today, both of which are very effective and both of which require harvesting organic polymer as normal polymer is hard to craft an aberration being that there is barely any obsidian rocks so both of these methods will only get you organic polymer but that is an exact replacement for polymer so it does not matter that you can't make normal polymer on this map um, so yeah let's get straight into it so the first method is by harvesting crabs and so crabs are found along many of the map of um, aberrations lakes so I haven't figured out how to put my thing on the map on um, single player, but as you'll see in the green area of the map, the um, central sort of top area, there is a whole load of blue lakes and every one of these lakes has got crabs all along it. There is not a single lake along here without crabs. So um, the crabs range from being around where Bassi at about 2050 is down to where D and Trike are. So it ranges throughout the whole of the green zone. And they are also spawn um, in the blue zone, which you can see to the right of the map. And um, also very rarely on the edge of the um, pink zone, which is the very bottom black area. So they're basically found all across the map's major river and lake systems. So um, yeah, once you find yourself a crab, you want to use a megalo or a spino to safely deal with the crab. So, as you can see here, there's um, crabs all along the lake. So here's one just here, there's an alpha crab over there, and there'll be more all along that sort of direction over there. So, um, the crabs here, what you want to do is you just want to find them and you just want to kill them with whatever you can use. So, whoa, that's a lot of piranha. But well, anyway, so um, you want to kill the crab with whatever you can. You can use a megalo, a spino, um, you know, tech rifle, whatever you want to use. I don't know why you use a tech rifle, but I'm going to here. And then from there on, you can proceed to hatchet the corpse, and you'll get a decent amount of polymer. Or from there on, you can use a megalo to get a um, an increased amount of polymer. So I'm not sure what the rates are. On this um, on this uh, single player server are but um, but you definitely at least will get 60 odd organic polymer on official and on small tribes I know that I've definitely gotten over um, a couple of hundred polymer from crabs so um, yeah I'll kill this out crab over here as well to show you that you do get more using the megalo so this shouldn't take too long being that I'm on a level 1500 megalo, which is just a little bit overpowered. Um, so yeah, all along these river systems in the green, there are crabs which you can all kill and um, get the polymer from. So that's 243 polymer. Um, yeah, quite a bit more than if I just used the hatchet. But you can use anything that harvests um, hide, chitin, whatever, um, to get the polymer. Um, Something that I definitely suggest you do though is you use moss chops with polymer in their harvesting settings because that will get you a lot more polymer than if you were to use um, megalo hatchet or anything else like that. So um, yeah, if you've got the opportunity to definitely use the moss chops leveled into polymer. Um, but yeah, another good thing I won't be able to showcase in this, but another good thing about this method is that crabs respawn along this lake very very quickly you can kill the crabs and if you leave the render for five minutes a whole new lake full of more crabs will spawn so if you want to tame the crabs and get polymer by the way it's a great method because the crabs are constantly spawning in massive numbers along this whole lake area um, but yeah so while that's a great method it isn't the best so um, yeah I'll head over to the second method and um, show you what it's all about and it's probably the best method of getting polymer in the entire game of art so yeah I'll see you guys there alrighty guys I'm back down at the second location for 
um, harvesting polymer, and this location is in the radiation pink zone. Actually, sorry, the pink zone. So, um, this method is a little bit more complicated and will require you to be a little bit larger of a tribe, um, but it is definitely a lot more successful and gets you a lot more polymer than the first method. So, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, what you'll need for this method is you need a dire bear, preferably. Or any other um, berry harvester, but dire bear is the best to do for this. So, um, what you want to do once you get your dire bear is you want to head down to the pink area. So, because I don't have my um, me marker, I don't quite know where this is, but um, it's definitely somewhere at that bottom part of the map. I think it's maybe around about 60-60, um, but because I don't have the... Um, pinpoint location on the map, I can't really tell you guys exactly where it is, but it's in the non-radiation part of the pink zone, so you don't need hazmat gear, and it's basically just right by this pink lake and the waterfall dropping in from the blue. So, um, yeah, sorry about not being able to give exact coordinates, single player is a bit annoying at times, but, um, yeah, so once you've gotten your bear, and once you've gotten it down to this location, you'll want to run around and find these glowing white greenish um, plants and so you want to go up to these and you want to eat them with the bear so the bear will get nothing but polymer from each one of these and it will get a decent chunk of polymer from each of these so while each plant doesn't give you nearly as much polymer as the crabs do there are so many plants down here in one like one sort of area that this method is definitely the best method and I've seen people on official servers with properly bred bears coming out of this with like slot capped with polymer so it's definitely the best method and the one that I suggest you use if you can but like I said it is definitely more um, more for the larger tribes so yeah it is it's a bit dangerous a bit more dangerous down here so you will want a decent bear um, and the better the bear, the more polymer you get as well. So, yeah, definitely go for the best bear you can get. And as you can see, these plants are just all around this area here. And you just get tons and tons of organic polymer out of this. It is, it's absolutely unbelievable just how much you can get in such a short period of time. And if you've got access to teleporters and that sort of stuff, it makes it so much easier because you just slot up your bear, teleport it out, and you've got yourself a ton of polymer to last you for ages so it spawns all along this area you just got to be careful not to go down too far down there because that's where the radiation is and same story for that ramp up there but just you know run around this whole area and um yeah just try and find as much polymer as you can so right now this is a 150 bear that i force tamed and it is literally getting heavy from all this polymer it's getting and this is the sort of stuff you don't see very often you know um, so yeah this is definitely the best method and definitely one that I suggest but the first method is also very very effective and um, yeah so both of these um, both of these methods are sort of styled um, can, can be used at any part throughout the game sort of thing so you got the first one for beginners to medium tribes and this one for more advanced tribes so it's definitely on aberration you've always got a good method of getting polymer um, so yeah that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it please do leave a like and if you've got any feedback put it in the comment section down below and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video bye